Yeah. Okay. Dave got me some glue, but I'm looking at such a tiny piece, I don't think we need glue. Yeah, next time we're at Park Ray Hall, I will make sure that the next okay. panel comes back if you want the whole thing. No. Okay. Just very okay. gently pull the... Okay. Is it just printing out of that? Yeah, all, like I had, all I did was one fixed character. It's a loop to print that. Uh -huh. Well, well it's some a good delay thing. loops in it, which is what you're seeing counting down. It's extremely good. Wait, what? What'd you just say, Chuck? <laughs> About counting down? If you're on a camera. camera. Delay loops that are counting down so that it doesn't issue a command to write faster than it can write because it has no uh, ready checks in it. It's not smart enough yet. Keen program to do this thing is really a pain. I would not want to enter it. You put it in at what, three times? Yeah, the second time I had it set to general registers, so I wasn't actually Oops. writing it to any memory. How many, how many instructions long is this program? 22? It's oh like, goodness, that's a lot. It's so 17 hex, however many words. So next time by, I'll, I'm, I'll work on a program to accept data and echo it. If that works, then we'll see how short a program can be written to load. Oh, that's really cool. Core. Then I could write fairly hmm. large programs. Then you can write a tiny little boot letter. <coughs> Right. Ah, oh, that's extremely good. I'm very happy. I was getting a little worried about the terminal controller. <laughs> I'm really proud of you too. That's that's fantastic. That's impressive. Yeah, good work. Good work. But I'm not going to try to fix the FC200. <laughs> that seems right reasonable. Now. You might have spares. We have. It looks like you found one that works. Took that one, but we have several in this. Wait, where was the non-working one? Was it under the the non-working one was over here, so I moved this one over okay. here, and then I got another one. Fantastic. So Ed has things hanging over there in the new cubby. Hmm. And one of the things that had to be put in there is enable, make it the active processor. Mm, yeah. Because it powers up as inactive, which is probably sound. That would be these two MIS instructions? The first two, yeah. The third one is kicking the program timer. Mm. Yeah, okay. But right, the resetting the It took a lot of digging in the prints to find out the enable B and the enable A. Couldn't find any documentation about it. I had to trace it through the drawings. But now I know where there's eight pages of lists of miscellaneous microcode functions. And that, that, was, that was almost sort of, it was a, hey, look at this table, you don't actually need to understand. It was in the yeah, once slides the for the table training course, us. and it's like, hey, look at this, this is cool. Mm -hmm. you, you're, you're not going to use it, but here, and oh, thank God. That was another one of those Bulletin 17 deals. <laughs> thank you.